name's James Fonchel, and I'm an engineer by trade. And tell me about the uh, sweatshirt I'm looking at on you right now. What does it All say? All right, it says, uh, and you thought it was, it was, I can't read that. What it? Oh, I can read it. And you thought it was bad before. It's a, the lines yeah. right there. And then it says, and do you miss me now with a picture of George Bush on it. And you said you're not a political guy. I'm not really uh, that politically motivated and things like that, but I was at the gun show in um, Winston-Salem. Wait, there's another thing. You're at the gun show. I was at the gun show, yes. Second Amendment. Definitely a uh, uh, gun supporter and uh, have a concealed carry permit and I exercise my rights. Um, but also, uh, I saw this and I thought to myself, I just couldn't pass it up. Why? Well, you know what? Because they talk about change and they talk about all these different things. And really, when the political system, it's really just a movement of people around. It's always, you know, the system is what has to change, not just the person in front. And, you know, a lot of things are just about the same. There's still a high unemployment rate. There's still things. And then it all takes time. And that change doesn't come easy or quickly. Okay, and, you're president tomorrow. What do you do? How do you bust out of this nightmare political circle you're talking about? I think the best way for me to do that is to surround myself with the right people who have the right knowledge and take the advice when it's given to me. Because, you know, when you look at any businessman or any, even a small organization, that top leader is only as good as the people that's under him. So you surround people that have those kind of values, those kind of uh, initiative. And that's where you'll get change done. Because you know what? The guy at the top really can't be that smart. He can't know everything. He's been so engrossed in just his political views and trying to get to that point. Unless he surrounds from the bottom up, he's really just, you know, a, a figure up there. Are you worried about the nation's future? Um, not so much worried, but I, I am somewhat encouraged because I see what I see today is I see people taking a stand more than allowing the government to, you know, fix things. I see. The, I, I actually see people more in discussions. I travel a lot in, uh, through my career in Europe and Asia, and everybody there is very political. Everybody, they know more about my politics than I do. And, you know, I just have to say that anywhere in any discussion we've ever been in has been somehow around politics or family and things like that. So I see people getting more involved in, and I think that's, I don't want to say grassroots type stuff, but just the average person taking a little more initiative to learn a little bit about what they can do or what because five years ago, I didn't know anybody that was unemployed, for instance. Today, with college degree, with education, it used to be you get a good education, you'll never be out of work. I know people with two, three type of degrees or, or uh, lots of education. They've been unemployed for an extensive time. Never saw that before. I'm 52. I never, ever saw that. I started out in the electronics field, and one of the things that was value was that you'll never be out of work if you got that. It was a period of be, me being out of work. So, so it, it comes back to it's up to you and it's up to me. Yeah. And we can't depend on anybody else to do it right because it goes to screw it up. Is I, that anything? I, I don't know if I would say screw it up, but I think that we need to be more involved and, and a better understanding of what's going on that directly reflects us. I can't do anything about world politics. I can't do anything about Israel and, and Egypt and everything over there. But I can do something about what goes on at Kernersville, Stokesdale, all that. That's where I immediately have to start. Because if you don't start there, then you're just talking. You're sitting in a coffee shop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's where it does start. Okay, that's got where it. it starts. Thank you. Hey, thank you.